Hey everyone, so a while ago I got asked to do a video on eyeliners and just like everything about eyeliner So I thought I would jump into that. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go over the like basic eyeliners um, Everyday eyeliners eyeliners. I like brushes like the whole deal. So um, first I'm gonna start out with pencil liners I recommend pencil liners for beginners just because that's what I started with and I feel like they're easier now there are a lot of different eyeliners on the market. Um, you can get them drugstore, you can get them high-end, they come in like all sorts of colors. So my favorite three eyeliners that, that I have personally tried, um, this one is the Lava Gloss, this is by Too Faced, and this is just a black liner, and then the NYX brand, and then Makeup Forever. These are all really soft, but um, really stay put for me. I guess my biggest thing with eyeliners is, is because I have hooded eyes, I can't do really thick line liner because it transfers up to the top. Um, but I don't want a really hard pencil either that like will tug at my eyes. Okay, I want to kind of show you like the effect that like liner can have. This is kind of like a softer, like squishier part of my hand. And this is um, more like a dry, a firmer consistency of pencil that tends to pull. And um, when you put it like on like really thin skin or skin that moves a lot, you can see how I can pull the skin. Like when I'm making a line there, like it just, it pulls. Whereas something like this, this is the NYX slide on. Like it's just like... Do you see that? I'm I'm applying the same amount of pressure, but it just slides on really nicely and it just kind of floats above the skin instead of having to pull on the skin to get the color to work. Also, if you have um, a problem with a liner like this that's just really dry and it's really tugging, what you can do is actually um, warm it up. A lot of people like will warm it up in their hands. I find that a lighter works really well as long as you don't melt it. If you take a lighter and just kind of go um, you know, under it a little bit and kind of warm up the product, it'll kind of smooth it out a little bit so that it's easier to use. You don't want something that's hard that's going to pull and tug at your eyes. Also, as far as pencils, you're not supposed to use anything but coal on your waterline, um, like coal pencils. I tend to just, I tend to be okay just because I use more, um, like smooth consistency eyeliners and so I don't know, it doesn't worry me that like chunks are gonna like fall out into my eye and like scratch my eye and stuff like that. But you're only supposed to use cool pencils. I know MAC has like cool liners and stuff like that on your waterline, so be really careful about that. The next kind of genre of liner, I guess, is gel liners. Um, these, I have the Fluid Lines and the Bobbi Brown um, long wearing gel eyeliners. These are really nice. I really like these. These tend to be a little bit more opaque than um, just pencils. So if you're looking for something um, that way, gel liners are really nice. They have a lot of different brushes that you can use. I love the EO5 from Sigma, and it's just this really small brush. Another eyeliner brush is the E65 by Sigma, which is just this kind of like slanted one. This is another one um, that's slanted as well that's just really nice to get in and into your eye and um, line your top line. I don't tend to use... I don't know, I don't tend to use gel liners on the bottom. What I usually do is I take a brush and then I'll dip it in the gel liner and put it on the top and then whatever's left on the brush, I'll just kind of go down and underneath my, underneath my eye, yeah, underneath my lashes. And um, that kind of blends it in because I don't like really harsh lines down on the bottom. So um, that's what I tend to do. And again, there's a lot of brands of gel liners that are in the pots like this. I know Coastal Sense has one, MAC makes one, Bobbi Brown makes one, um, like, Everyone makes, you know, a gel liner nowadays. But gel eyeliners I tend to use for more special occasion, and I tend to use pencil liners more for every day. Pencil, eye <laughs> pencil eyeliners seem to be a lot quicker for me, so like when I'm getting ready in the morning for school or for work or whatever, it's a lot quicker to do a pencil and to just go and be done than it is to like get the pot out, get your brush out, do the liner, wash the brush, you know. So I tend to use pencils as far as that goes for every day and then these when I'm doing a more dramatic look or you know on a special occasion or where I need a really opaque um, color that a, like a pencil is not going to give me. Okay, the last kind of genre of eyeliners are liquid eyeliners. Now um, liquid eyeliners are fabulous. I love them. I don't tend to use them as much, but they they serve their purpose when they're needed. Now there's there's different kinds of liquid liners. This one's by Hard Candy, and it's just you pull it out and it's a brush, and there's a brush on the end of that, and that's what you use to line your eye. 
Um, they also have ones that you pull out and there's product in the bottom and you pull it out the same, but it's a felt tip, which I think are easier to use than the brush. And then they have ones like this. This is by e.l.f. And they are, um, mine is really taking a beating, but they're um, kind of a felt tip, but it's a pen, so all the product is inside and you just use it. Um, now with ones like these that come with the brushes that I don't tend to like, but are really, they're, they're liquid, um, I, what I do is I take an eyeliner brush and I'll just open it like this and I'll dip it on there and use it. That way I feel like I have a little bit more control over what I'm doing with my eyeliner and you can do that with, you know, any eyeliner brush, like whether it's um, a slanted brush or, or a like pencil brush like that. Um, but I just find that a lot easier than using the brush applicators that they give you because you know, unless you're gonna go to a store and just find like your holy grail like liquid eyeliner brush that you can use and works really well for you, I just, I've never done that because I just, you know, use one that works and then use my own brushes with it and that really tends to help me. So for liquid liners like these, I don't ever put these on my bottom lash line. Um, I just feel like it gives a really harsh line and then you have to sit there and blend it out with a pencil brush or something and it's just too much of a hassle and it's wet and it's just usually a mess. So um, I usually only use liquid for the top lashes to get a nice deep line and then I use usually a, a pencil liner for underneath or an eyeshadow with a pencil brush or something like that to just give a softer line on the bottom because harsh lines on the bottom just don't look good on me so I don't tend to do that. So overall I think liquid is for really dark, opaque, it, they usually stay on a really long time and a lot of them come waterproof. Gel um, can be waterproof too, it's not to me, it doesn't stay as long as liquid liners do, and then pencil liners are just easy, they're good for every day, they're very usable, and they're very user-friendly, um, but yeah, and as far as tools, I think um, while I'm talking about eyeliner, I feel that um, a really good pencil brush is really good. I know a lot of people make the make them. This one is the E30 from Sigma and it's just, mine's a little dirty, but it's just a nice pencil brush and it's really nice for just like blending out lines um, wherever you have them as far as liner goes. I just feel like that's important that everybody needs a pencil um, brush for your eyeliner. But um, as far as that goes, I think that's pretty much everything about eyeliners. If you have any questions, let me know. I am always on the hunt for really good eyeliners that stay put because I really struggle with finding eyeliners that um, are smooth and have a great consistency but have a really good wear and, and are really long wearing. So if you guys know of any, put them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. All right, so I think that's it and I will talk to you soon. Bye.